guys how to play Planet Telex off of the bends. It starts out with your left hand on an E octave. Right hand is going to be an A flat, B, E. And throughout the intro, your left hand is just going to stay on this E. You're going to want to kind of play it a little lightly, though, because you don't want it to overpower uh, the chords in the right hand. So that's your first chord. Next chord is going to be in your right hand an A, D flat, E. And in the recording, there's kind of a reverb, which you can emulate with the piano by going like this. Or you can just play the chords. It's all personal preference. So after the A, in the right hand, you're going to play a D minor. That's a A, D, F. And after that, you're going to play an A, C, E. And then you start over. And when you're on the A, C, E, you can kind of break it up and add a little fill wherever you feel it's appropriate. So then, after you do that a few times, we get into the bulk of the song. Uh, you're going to play the same chord that you did in the very beginning on the right hand, except you're going to leave off the B and just hit those two notes. And in your left hand, you're going to play an, an, a B octave. The E is going to come, all the notes are going to stay the same, but the E is going to come down to an E flat, and then a D, and then an E flat again, and then you start over. Then you do that again. And in the left hand, I'm kind of doing a low, and then a high, B, uh, like this. two times, your left hand is just going to drop down to an A, and you're going to do the same low-high pattern, and your right hand is going to keep playing, uh, you're just going to move down your thumb t up to an A, and it's the same pattern except it's going to go E, E flat, D flat, instead of D, so it's... Just do that once. Then you go back to this chord, and you do that twice, then you go back to this one, and do that twice. So after the second time you do it, you do the everything is broken part. And that's just the first chord we started out on, but in the left hand you're going to add a B. And just like before, you're going to hit an E, then an E flat, then a D. And those are the only notes that are going to change. And then back up to an E flat. And you do that pattern two times in a row. Um, since you don't have a whole band playing with you, you just kind of solo on the piano. You can either play the whole chords and just hold them. Or you can kind of fill in with the right hand like I do. So after you do that, uh, you go back and do. The, and you start over from the beginning and do all that again. Um, second time you do, everything is broken and everyone is broken. Uh, I'm not doing the in the right hand because we're going to start playing some notes up in the right hand and it just doesn't work if you're doing that rhythm. 
So another way to emulate the reverb is to just hit this E in rhythm like that. So. Uh, that I'm, I'm talking about, uh, they're at the very end of the song, and all you're going to do is keep doing this pattern, but you're going to break up the notes. So it's... See that? It's the same notes you're playing. But when you get to the D minor, instead of breaking this up, you're going to hit the chord, and then play these notes. G flat, D, B. So it's... the C on the A C E you're just gonna play around with the C and the B and you fade out and that's how to play the song it's a good one